Hey guys. So I've been playing tactical FPS uh, since first America's Army game back in 2002. Uh, currently I'm mostly playing Escape from Tarkov. Uh, and I'm also Aldified. I am really interested in Aldio. I, uh, I'm a fan of Hitman and Splinter Cell games. So I'm always trying the tactical approach in extraction shooters, in tactical shooters. Mm, so there are a couple of things I wanted to break down for you in Grey Zone Warfare game, developed by Matt Finger Games. Uh, so let's start with the audio and the footsteps and the ambient sound. So in this scene, you're going with a chopper and now you're landing on the ground. You can hear the directional sound really well. You can hear the straight line that the helicopter is flying and you can pinpoint its location just by the audio. It was in the right, it was in the rear, now it's in the left. Uh, also, you can hear perfectly the footsteps of the guys coming in front of you. I believe some sounds overlap, so in this scene, I would have trouble identifying it's a three man or four man squad with including you. But overall, the sound of footsteps is just about right in my perspective. It allows you to hear the enemy if they are in your close proximity and the benefit of that is you cannot hear enemies if they are like 50 or 70 meters away from you. This is actually great because in games like Escape from Tarkov you can hear enemies running 70 meters in front of your in your area of operation and this creates tension, you hear an enemy from far far away, so you just stand still and ambush him. Here also the bush noises, the grass noise, it's well balanced and it doesn't annoy you as a player, nor it doesn't give too much sound use. As you are approaching the enemy AI, you can hear them screaming, so yelling to each other. So they will alert you that there's, hey, there's AI in your proximity, watch out. Stay on your guard and approach carefully. Yeah, you can hear them nice and clear. So you can prepare and take the stealth approach. Take them down with a couple of bullets. Uh, what I'm curious about is the time to kill because it looked to me like this, those guys took a couple of shots in the body and uh, still survived. I'm wondering how the combat mechanics will be balanced out in this game. Uh, just so enemies are not too bullet spongy. Uh, while we are at AI, I noticed in a couple of scenes that the AI doesn't always react perfectly to your whereabouts. Uh, like here, you can spot a guard uh, walking, patrolling. You take a shot and he starts running towards you. So now awareness like where's the shot coming from. Uh, just running towards you. But what's more important take a look at what happens next. So there are two more guards in this housing area and there's like a couple of buildings, maybe two or three, uh, I believe. So those guys, the guards, AI, they are well protected. Uh, they have cover from multiple angles. What they do, at first it might look quite nice because they run away, they got scared and they run away. Makes sense. 
if they know they're being approached approached by some PMCs. But here they just run into the open and stood still just to get killed. So I believe uh, there's a couple of things for the AI to um, polish so the guys would react better. Back in this scene, you run, you can kill a couple of tangos, and there's a guy just standing still here and waiting for you to run into him. And he wasn't prepared at all. And what's more mind boggling is you killed other enemies in that proximity in this trailer, and you approach slowly. And at the beginning of the trailer, you could hear enemies yelling to each other. So they gave you this uh, alert that there are enemies in the proximity. Here, for this guy we just killed, there was no indicator that there might be anyone there. Mm. Again, I believe it's either you uh, polish the AI to give you a couple of sounds like alerts, I don't know, heavy breathing, uh, being stressed out, moving in place, uh, maybe uh, leaning from the cover just to, to see if they are safe or not. Mm, not standing still. Like this guy, he just came strafing uh, right in front of your uh, companions just to get killed. Uh, so yeah, there's uh, there's some sort of for improvement. Uh, this is pre-alpha footage, uh, but this game, according to the developers, will be mostly focused on PVE VP. So in Tarkov, for example, there are players who focus mostly on PvP, and there's like quite a lot of players on each map. Uh, and some AI, and there are players who focus on PvE. In Grey's and Warfare, we are supposed to be focusing mostly on PvE, and then at times have some um, PvP situations. Uh, and the world will be open, persistent, so it will encourage some situations like that. Uh, if you are supposed to fight mostly AI, the AI needs to be polished. And I don't mean for the AI to be sharpshooters, to kill you on sight, or to headshot you from 100 meters with their uh, rusty AKs. What I mean is that like, AI should take over, AI should communicate with each other, uh, give themselves some information like, hey, there's uh, PMCs, there's hostile operators in the area, uh, take cover, and maybe because they are not trained, they are just some bandits, they could stay in cover and then breathe heavily or uh, move in space. Uh, try to sit still, but still shake. And this way I give you some audio clues that they are there. So go inside the building and you could hear that there's just someone stressed out around the corner. I believe that would be quite, quite a dope mechanic. Coming back to audio, in this scene, we are approaching some guys. This is shooting. And you can perfectly hear that on the left, one guy just got shot from your teammates. And he's breathing heavily. It's like, not feeling too well, I believe. It all boils down to the positional audio, to directional audio, so we can identify perfectly where are the enemies, where are the players, where is the AI. Hey bro, are you okay? Feeling alright? Yeah, I, I, I don't know about him, maybe he should get some medical attention. Uh, one other thing I noticed, all the time, as you're walking, you can hear the frogs, you can hear the, the birds, uh, the ambient sounds. They are just 
too loud. All the time you can hear ambient sounds. And while the footsteps, they, they, are, they do not bother you. All the gameplay inside the village, outside the village, the, the ambient sounds, the, the wildlife, it's just too loud. And at first, it might seem like, oh, that's cool. But if you play a couple of hours in this game, uh, it might start to annoy you like announcer in Escape from Tarkov Arena who's yapping all the time in your ear. Uh, I believe this should be toned down a little. This could be achieved with occlusion zones, but be careful because occlusion zones might uh, create this artificial situation when you are in one spot and you can hear perfectly everything outside the village and then you make one step inside the village and suddenly you don't hear anything from the outside because you are now in the other zone the other occlusion zone uh which would yeah, destroy the, 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 the really great audio system so i believe leave this open space without any occlusion zones like it is right now uh just tune down the ambient sounds and what i mean by that uh, one occlusion zone how we can verify it is in the situation when, when bmc is going into the building you can hear that there's nothing changing so we just kill a couple of guys and listen as we walk inside The frogs, the birds, the wildlife, nothing changed as you walked inside. You can hear clearly that someone is walking up the stairs, uh, so the positional audio is really good. But there's no occlusion zone, so there's no change whether you are inside and outside. And to be honest, after playing so much different games, I believe this is better, because it gives you like this simple field of sound uh, you can always know what to expect there are no gaps like here you can hear better and here you can't hear shit it's it's better but it's not real but for competitive game for a game when you have to rely on your visuals on your sound that's that's really okay Here's another another thing I wanted to show you. As you are shooting and you are being shot at, look at the blur on your screen. So this is suppression fire and everything inside the middle of your screen blurs. So while this might seem cool for some, uh, if we are talking competitive game, when we are not only fighting AI, but we are also play fighting uh, other players, this is really the worst and least competitive thing you can imagine because it completely turns off your skill, aiming skill, nothing matters. It just who suppresses the other guy first with some random shots above the head. Uh, it blurs your screen so now you aren't able to hit the enemy. It's just random whether you hit or not. Uh, I, I believe the it should be solved uh, in a way that the blur would happen on the borders of your, of your screen and the very center where you're aiming is should still not be blurred, if that makes sense. And now as we're walking, your guy uh, opens the map and calls a transport. So there are landing zones where you can land uh, to infiltrate some objects and then you can exit when you're done. And there are different base camps. Probably each faction in the game will have different base camp and maybe they will have multiple base camps. Uh, probably with different NPCs, different traders. Uh, what I wonder is, if you take a look at the map, you can see three LZs right now and one base camp. So. I'm not sure how they will solve this, but if you consider that each faction in the game would have the same landing zones, 
this could lead to like Excel campers, guys who would know like those are the main three uh, landing zone in these areas. We can camp in one of them and there's always, always chance that someone will come in and uh, we can drop a kill. Uh, what I would like to see in the final version of the game, I'm not sure if that's easy to, to implement or if that's something they could consider, but first of all, if each faction could have different landing zones, that would be extremely beneficial because uh, that would multiply number of uh, landing zones. So if you wanted to camp someone, you, you, you could just spend two hours in the space and drinking water, eating food, and you could see no, no one because no one chose your uh, landing zone. Uh, the other thing, if the landing zones could be like randomized, maybe this time you would have those landing zones. And the other day, uh, those landing zones are not available, for example, that you have other landing zones. As long as they are shown on map, uh, which I really like, uh, for example, in Tarkov, it's very harsh for new players to, to le learn all the extracts and exact points of the extracts. Here, you can just open them up and have a great idea of where is everything you need. And this is still hardcore. You still need to rely on your senses. Uh, it is still immersive, but it is like more real because don't expect soldier not to know where not to have any map of the surroundings if they go on a mission. So that's that's really nice. I also wonder what's the distance from where you can call in the extraction chopper. Uh, and what's the time for it to arrive? Uh, because if you would know, like, if I call in a chopper right now, it will arrive in like three minutes. You could call it in quite early and just be sure that when you as it gets to the location to pick you up, you can also just walk on time instead of waiting in bushes like those guys. Just waiting, for example, for an enemy to run by and kill them. And yet another thing I want to make you aware of, uh, there's complex medical system and healing and stuff. Right now in upper uh, left corner, you can see uh, we have red head hitbox and there's this icon. I believe it's something like um, pain. It doesn't mean headshot and it just disappeared. So maybe you're in pain, uh, but not really wound. Uh, maybe it was like adrenaline kicking in, uh, but it faded away uh, by itself. So perhaps there will be um, mechanics where you need to heal up, which we could also see in the trailer at uh, certain points. Uh, and there's different medical equipment to heal you up, to patch you up. Uh, but perhaps there will be times when uh, adrenaline or the pain kicks in and it goes away when the situation um, calms. I would really expect them to implement some kind of adrenaline system where if you are being shot at, or maybe you are running and you are hitting the leg, uh, you feel the pressure and even though it hurts and uh, you would like to like lay on the ground, drop down and, and just cry, adrenaline kicks in and you start running faster, you just want to get to the cover and that's the most important thing. And in the cover, you could be like bleeding, have blood on screen and uh, screen pumping, everything. Uh, but for just a couple of seconds, give us this, this adrenaline kick so we can get to safety. And in a game like this, with so much foliage, with so much cover, uh, but it being so hardcore, I believe this this could be a really, really good feature to, to allow us to get this adrenaline shot and just take cover. So yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope this was beneficial for you. Uh, I've done all my sound testing and listening to the footsteps and the foliage. 
uh, on topping uh, A90 uh, amp and D70 DAC with a couple of headphones, high frame and addition XS, uh, Bear Dynamics DT in 1990s and a couple of IMs like um, for example Kiwi Ears Orchestra Light. Um, so yeah, quite uh, quite a good sound design, uh, sound engine. I, I really like the sounds. Just tune down the ambient sounds a, a little and it will be perfect. That's it. Thank you guys. Hope you have a lovely day. Take care. Bye.